Hi, my name is Bridget Thill. I'm from Mitchell, South Dakota. I am currently a sophomore here at DSU. A little bit about my family is that my I have one brother, Jordan. He's married to my sister-in-law, Megan. Both my parents, Deb and Shane, are educators. My mom is an elementary school PE teacher, and my dad is an assistant high school principal, and he also runs our alternative school. Someone who has really inspired me to become a teacher is a little complicated for me because I've had a very positive experience growing up with school. I always loved going, I always loved learning, and so I wanted other kids to also have that experience. So I like to think that each teacher I had helped me grow to realize that I did want to be a teacher when I grew up. However, if I just had to pick one, it would be my dad because he is a hero in my eyes as he does run our alternative high school, which is for higher risk students. And he does face many obstacles to help them succeed and graduate, as do his students. But no matter what, he always shows up for them. He always helps them. He goes beyond what his job description is to help them succeed. And most importantly, he help, he shows them that they matter, which sometimes those are the first, that's the first experience they've had with someone that shows them that they actually matter. And I feel like that's a very important aspect of teaching. I have taught in a um, classroom before. I do sub when I go home and I have had teaching experience through practicums and volunteering so I am pretty comfortable in the classroom. I have heard of cross-curricular learning and I do have a few experiences with it. I know that it is when you're taking two or more um, content areas and combining them into one lesson or unit. So for example, combining a science and math lesson together to reach both of those topics or standards within those topics. Um, in elementary school, I know we did this. Um, not so much in middle or high school or that I recognize because most of the classes were pretty separate as they were taught by different teachers. Um, but in elementary school, I know we did it, although at the time I didn't realize that's what it was called or that's what was happening. Um, thematic lesson planning, I don't have much experience knowing on it, although I know we did do it in elementary school. So for example, during the holidays, everything would be centered, centered around Christmas or winter. So I know it's when you have a unit for a period of time and there's one theme that you stick to. So for that example, holidays or winters. For student-centered learning, I understand that it is when the student is actively engaged in their own learning and has a say in their own learning where I feel like typically um, a student is just a participant in their learning but with student-centered the student comes first and my experiences with this uh, is actually pretty firsthand as I was in a program in our, high, in our middle school where we individually met with teachers and we came up with a plan of learning and we got to um, pick topics that were of interest to us and got to do it at our own pace. Um, my experiences with music, art, and drama is pretty limited. I did have a very engaging art teacher growing up, and I did take it in 6th and 8th grade and then 10th and 12th grade, but I don't have much experience in music and drama, so I'm hoping this class helps me expand my knowledge in that. Um, I think music, art, and drama is especially useful in the classroom. Um, I think songs and actions could really help. For example, in a kindergarten classroom, the days of the week song, it would help them remember and recall what the days of the week are. Um, also, dancing and listening to songs is a great brain break and helps the students uh, enjoy learning and knowing that they'll have a break that's something they'll really enjoy. Um, another example for having art in the classroom is kindergarten writer's workshop where they um, write a story and then draw a picture. Also art is a great sensory activity for all students. I know drama can be used in the classroom uh, to help students learn with reading and writing so that can be really useful. I know that art, music, and drama can contribute um, to a better teaching and enhanced teaching. Uh, some students may be able to better comprehend when it's through one of these methods versus let's say writing a paper. I do hope to teach kindergarten when I grow up and my ex expectation, ex expectations for this class is just learning more about how to incorporate this into my classroom and having a professor to reach out to which I know I'll be able to do.